Hello guys, it's Chummaster100. Today I'm doing a video about Bakugan. This is actually a, actually a Blaze Talks for once, I know, right? Um, but I do have a little idea. Maybe instead of like doing a whole update just about one certain topic, maybe I'll just do a Blaze Talks. So, I mean, that could work. So, um, yeah. Now, there's kind of an update to this, and I just want to talk about something else, just Bakugan related. I don't know, I just felt like talking about it. Kind of the rise and fall of Bakugan. And then the revival on my channel, at least. Um, so, all right. I don't really get a chance to talk about like old, like me before YouTube. The first back I really ever get to go was like May of '09. Um, this we're going back all the way to like June of '08. So back then, I used to just get Bakugan every once in a while. Um, like I, it wasn't really a common thing to get Bakugan. So I mean. There's that. Now, like me, every couple weeks I go to the store, you know, get a Bakugan or two. Something like that. This lasted all the way from, you know, um, 08 into 09. Now, in 2009, I did the same thing, you know, just get a Bakugan every once in a while. It wasn't really that common. Well, it was common, but it wasn't common to get a lot. Um, so, you know, um, and even in 09 when I had my YouTube channel, I still, you know, didn't do Bakugan videos. It wasn't until 2010 I started. Now, February 8th, 2010, I started to make Bakugan videos. I just kind of showed what I had for each attribute. I made a, six videos, one for each attribute, showing what I had. Um, back then, my collection wasn't so big. Like, I only had, like, a few of each. I think, like, Ventus or Pyrus is the most, and I think I had, like, 15 in one of them. I mean, that's not like a ton, so I mean, especially what I have now. Like, it, it's kind of crazy with what I have now. Um, so, anyways, um, you know, Bakugan, it was pretty cool. And then, Good Daily Invaders came out, and I, I liked it. And so, I kept getting, I got more of them, except it wasn't as much. Like, for example, I wouldn't really get game packs that often. I'd get triads sometimes, but typically just single packs. Uh, for Gun Daily Invaders, Waves 1 and 2. Now, you go to Wave 3. Okay. This is sort of like the rise. Wave 3 is like the rise of Bakugan. Um, well, I mean, I guess this whole time technically was the rise. Sorry for your background noise right now. I'm just like moving my feet off of my bed. Um, so, yeah. Anyways. Now. Wave 3 was really where it started to rise, and then kind of get one to the golden age, um, September. But anyways, Wave 3, those like, first week or two it was out was when it's like, the last peak of the rise, then it got to the golden age. As it was rising, like, Wave 3 was awesome. I can honestly still recite every single Bakugan from it, and every single attribute that came out. Like, I, I still know all this, um... Like, here, I'll even tell you guys. Line Halt. Okay, there was Pyrus and a Translucent Ventus. Um, Litharus. There was Aquas and Crimson of Pearl. Hogtor. Ventus and Crimson of Pearl. Then there was um, Contestior. There was a Chaos and a Crimson of Pearl. Plithion, a Chaos. And then Rubinoid had a Darkus, Subterra, and then a Crimson of Pearl. Like, I already know. I still know all those. Um, I mean, it's not that many, but still, you know. Now... Wave 3, I don't know, this is really just, it was an awesome wave. So I remember I kind of kept getting them, you know, getting them. September came, that was kind of like the golden age of Baku, and you know, everything was great. Um, and that's just when I started just buying tons of Baku on, like, you know, I got a lot of them. Uh, wave 4 and 5, I got, oh, that was a lot. Um. But I just remember getting tons and tons of Bakugan, like, all the time. Um, honestly, it's kind of crazy. So, yeah. Alright. Um, so, it kind of went through about Christmas. Chris the day after Christmas was, like, basically the last time I'd consider it the golden age. Um, after that, it just kind of was falling. It wasn't falling, but it wasn't the golden age anymore. Like, it was still fine. It's not the golden age. Um... Bakugan, but they're still going through McTame Surge, probably through about early May. 
mid-May through probably August was kind of, um, that was falling. And then it was, like, almost done. It was just barely anything. Um, like, I only made, I think, in 2012. No, I did do a few 2012, um, like, I think I did one. I did some reviews, I know. And I did, like, one unboxing. 2013, I only did, like, one or two videos. Now, 2014, I did none. 2015, you know, it was dead. Uh, first half. July came around, and I revived it for my channel. Um, so I got Baku Tech. So Baku Tech is kind of like another variation of Bakugan. Um, right, what you guys are looking at now are not Baku Tech. Those are the one to the right is a uh, Ventus Translucent Rubinoid from you know Gundale Invaders, and then the one on the right is a Ventus B Striker from the original series. Um, so yeah. I first started Bakugan right there, so, yeah. Got that over seven years ago at this point, which is kind of crazy to say. Anyways, um, so, Baku Tech kind of helped it, and I'm going to kind of go back to normal Bakugan, um, still get Baku Tech, but, you know, um, it just, it's just something, you know, I like to do. Uh, Bakugan, Bakugan's just kind of cool, I like it a lot. Then, alright, now next up, we have, um, basically the updates I wanted to say. So, I, I just try to condense that story. Maybe I'll do a whole Blazes flashbacks or whatever I call those. Um, at some point on Bakugan. That got really in-depth. That was just kind of a summary. I mean, it was kind of a long summary, but still, a summary. So, what did I want to talk about updates? Now, I will still be doing Baku Tech, don't worry. Um, but here's the thing. I only have, I think, like a 14 more Baku Tech to get. And, I mean, that's kind of, I could just do that in one order if I really felt like it. So, I mean, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, yeah, not much left. I mean, I'll still get those, but, I mean, after that, it's kind of like, well, what, where do we go from here? Now, there are still some Bakugan I need to get from older series, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to buy the 20, 30-ish Bakugan I still need and after that may do with traps and battle gear, mechagon or something like that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get some of the old Baku. Now, I'm just gonna order start like three packs, like starter packs and stuff like that. I just wanna order random ones because then like it's just more fun like that. And something I do like about Baku and better than Baku Tech is that I can just get a Baku on that I already have and be like, okay, cool. Or a different attribute one's just fine. Or Baku Tech kinda reminds me of a cross of Baku and Beyblade. It's Bakugan, but if, you know, it's kind of like crap if you get a duplicate because they're expensive and they're just like, they don't have other attributes, you know. Um, so I don't know, that kind of reminded me of Beyblade a little bit like that. Um, so, I'm going to maybe order like five, uh, like Trinities or starter packs or whatever. And I'll, or and I'll open up the actual box that came in because I'll, I won't even know it's going to be in it, um. Like, I, I might just do a video on the box, just seeing, um, like, a Bakugan order. Like, I might actually start making, like, Bakugan order videos. And then, uh, make individual openings and just number them, you know? Um. Now, I'm gonna try and get some B1, like, um, B1, uh, starter packs and some new Astoria ones, too. Um, I probably won't really get... Trinities that much or triads because those are gonna elevate our Martinum Surge ones, which I already have a lot of those. I don't really need them anymore. Um, and um, yeah, so it's kind of gonna be interesting to see what happens. But I'm really, really liking my idea because ah, I'm so close to having like a lot of them. Um, so yeah, there's just a lot. Um, I, I have a lot, so I mean. We're probably at least 90% done with Bakugan collection, but I mean, there's still that 10% more, which might actually be more than 90% at this point. Like, I might have like 94% or something like that, but I'm going to try and get all of them. I don't care about attributes. I'm just going for the actual, you know, sculpt. I'm not going for, like, color and design. Like, outside design, I'm just going for sculpt collection, not a full every attribute of everything collection. That's kind of difficult, so I mean... 
you know, I'm not going to do that. Um, I might get some of, like, the ones I missed, though, like, um, some of the Gundalian Invader ones. Like, I do want, do want some of those Crimson and Pearls that I missed in, like, Stealth, because, you know, I don't have, like, an Avior and Crimson and Pearl or a Helix Dragonoid. And then Stealth, I missed the whole last wave because, like, I couldn't find them. Um, and I still do need some of those, so, like, a Cordum, um, or a, uh, Krakix. I don't have a lot of those, actually. So I need to go back and get those, um, Gundam Invaders, I do want those ones, though, um, just the Crimson and Pearl and Stealths, um, and then I just get, need a couple more Battle Gear and I'll be good to go, and some Super Assaults, um, you know, my TM Surge, uh, I don't really know if I want to get Mectagon or not, and the Bahu Nano, the Wave 3 ones are, like, impossible to find, so, I mean, we'll see what happens. Do need a couple more from, like, that, la the last wave, though. Um, Wave 5, I do need some. Wave 6 never came out, so I really can't do much with that. Um, Boulderon and Crowl never really happened. Um, maybe if I look, but I don't think so. Um, the ones I won't get are the Japanese ones, though, because, uh, those are, like, 50 bucks a piece. And I'm not spending $300 on 6 Bakugan. It's not worth it. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's really all. Um, I just wanted to give you guys some a heads up on that, and just kind of a history of kind of how Bakugan was, you know, rising up from like at least on my channel from you know like February to uh, uh, August 2010. Golden Age was, you know, like our climax. You know, September through December of 2010. You know, still good was January to um, May 2011. Then June to August, it just kind of fell, and, you know, September 2011 all the way to, like, July 2013, it was, like, barely a thing. Uh, August 2013 to June 2015, it was just dead. July 2015, though, I revived, um, back on my channel. I'm happy I did. So, anyway, guys, that's really all for this episode of, uh, Bloody Talks. Hopefully, I'll make more of these, because I haven't made one since, like, May, which is, like, five months ago. So anyway guys, that's all, so comment, thumbs up, subscribe, thanks for watching, and bye bye